Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a specific scenario that you have multiple Excel files in a folder, but each of them have a different Excel, a different sheet name, but still you want to combine them together. And the normal get data from folder fails in this scenario. I'll show you a little trick to fix it. Um, to show you the sample how it works, let's look at one of these files. I just opened the file. This is an Excel file with some data rows in it, and it has a um, it has a sheet name. Uh, the sheet name here is uh, 201605. The next file, however, the sheet name for that 201606, right? Uh, I want to combine these uh, because they are in the same folder. You can use the get data from folder experience of Power BI. Um, so I'll show you what is the problem and then, and then how to solve it. Let's say I get data from folder and I select uh, this folder path. It will show me all the files within that folder. Let's say I say combine and transform data just to look at it in the Power Query Editor window. Now, uh, when I choose Combine and Transform, uh, the Combine action usually consider one of those files as a sample file. You can choose what the sample file to be, and then the sheet name. Now, the problem is that this sheet name is only sheet name for this file. Other files has other sheet names, but this um, graphical interface doesn't give you any other option. So we'll go ahead with this. We'll select this sheet name and click OK. Uh, the combine action will take place. Uh, it will generate the necessary uh, functions and process. And this is the result of the combine, right? You see that this has some errors. Those stripped red lines you see at the top means that it is it contains errors. And here at the bottom of this, I can see that there are some error rows. So only processed for the first file, all other files didn't because it is looking for a sheet name like this that doesn't exist in other tables. So what I can do to fix it? Uh, one solution is to use the sheet index. Now, what is the sheet index? If I open that Excel file again, uh, this is the Excel file. Uh, sheet index is an index, let's say, starting from zero. This would be, for example, zero. If I have another sheet, this would be one, this would be two, three, whatever, right? So that is the sheet index. If I want to access this, this would be index zero. Uh, now that I know the sheet index, I can use it this way. I can go and find the table, uh, the query that used in the function. So first you need to find a function. They are usually in this folder. Uh, under helper queries, you'll find the function and you'll find this query, which is related to the function. So if you go and change this function associated with that will also change. Usually it's called transform sample file. Uh, I'll go and find that query. Now, this query might have multiple steps. Usually there is a step called navigation. If it is not called navigation, you can start from the source step, come a few steps down to find that navigation steps. Uh, when you click on it, you'll find the formula bar at the top, which if you can't find it, go to the view tab and enable it here. And uh, now in the formula bar, you see that it is using the, uh, uh, the item name Everything inside that curly brackets just replace that with the, um, with the index of the sheet. In this case, I'll delete everything here and just put zero. This would give me exactly the same result. So nothing actually changed here. It's exactly the same thing. But the difference is that this time it is not using the sheet name. It is using the index of the sheet, the place, the position of the sheet. And as soon as I go to the source files, here everything works fine, right? The data, of course, needs some formatting, but there is no error in combining multiple files, right? So that was the trick to change this from being uh, based on a file uh, sheet name to be based on a sheet index. Now, there are a few things you need to consider. The first thing, the first caution is that what if you... Uh, 
um, what if you have uh, um, tables as well in your files, not only sheet. In that case, I would say go to the first step, the source step, and only filter it for the kind to be sheet. Because if you have tables, then your sheet might not be the index that you are looking for. So only filter it for the sheet you want. Another action is go and find those um, steps that are uh, columns, dep column name dependent and remove them in the uh, in that main query. Uh, because let's say in some of the files, you might have two columns or one column less than the other files and you don't want this to break for that reason. Uh, you can come here if there is any change type, for example, a step or any step that is hard coded for the column names, remove that. Um, a change type step can be something like this. It didn't happen, but I just added to show you what it looks like. This is a change type step sometimes happens automatically and you see that it has column names hard coded. So if you see something like that, make sure to delete that. This will help with uh, reducing the error at the combining files. That is the second caution. Now, another thing to consider is that sometimes you have files uh, with Excel sheets, but that sheet might not be always the first sheet or the second sheet. It might not be always the same position. However, you know that there are some rules for the naming template for that sheet. For example, all of those sheets names starts with 20. Let's say 2016-05, 2016-06, 2016 2017-0-something, uh, right? All of that starts with 20. Then you can come here and filter it. Text filter begins with, ends with, um, contains, all of those. Let's say I can say begins with, and I can insert 20 here as a step. Then this would come before this step, and then it, when it comes to this step, the first sheet is the one that I'm getting anyway, right? So that combination of that with the index, um, with the sheet index, would help. Uh, you can download these files uh, from the blog link down uh, in the description below. I uh, hope you like this video. If you um, are interested in videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.